Today we're covering a concept called business process modeling and we're going to do a fun exercise called how to make toast. Hi there, my name is Ed Choi. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. In my channel, I talk about everything to do with the office. And today we're talking about a concept called business process modeling. Business process modeling can be a little bit complex. There's a lot of different charts you can use, different methods, but today I'm gonna simplify this process for you. First off, what is business process modeling? In all businesses, there are different processes in place. You can use this method that I'm gonna show you today. It'll help bring everybody together and put everybody on the same page. It's gonna be super easy to use. It's fun, effective, simple, cost-effective. You don't need to invest in any software or hire any consultants. This you can do on your own. So today the process that we're gonna break down is how to make toast. I know this is not very business-like, but it's something that everybody can relate to, and you'll see what I mean when I go through this process. This is also a great team building exercise that you can do with your company or your coworkers. It's a lot of fun, it doesn't take a lot of time. So here we go. Now to map out a system, you can use a whiteboard like this and just map out the process of making toast. Usually there's little arrows and we'll have processes like this. The challenge of doing it this way though, is sometimes people will want to interject an additional step here, saying that you missed something. And it's kind of hard to move things around because uh, although you can't erase it quite well, it's hard to manipulate a system in place when you're using whiteboard. So what I prefer to do in a meeting when I'm doing a business process modeling session is to give everybody a pad of post-it notes. So here's how this would work. The process that we're trying to identify is how to make toast. We all know how to make toast. We're gonna get everybody a pad of post-it notes. So on each post-it note, everybody draws out one step. So it's very important that each post-it note denotes one step. In this case, one step might be putting the toast in the toaster, that's one step. The second step on the second sheet of post-it note would be pressing down on the plunger for the, for the toast, that's the second step. So you give everybody enough time to write down the process and this is what the end result will look like. So here we have one person's idea of how to make toast. We have the toast in the toaster, got the plunger going down, wait a few minutes, and it pops up and now it's on a plate, so that's very easy. The funny thing is, we all know how to make toast, but not everybody's ideas are gonna look the same. So here's the thing, here's another person that I have. In this one, the first step was get the bag of bread first. So now when this person goes, puts their ideas up, they're actually gonna put it in chronological order. This goes before the actual bread going to the toaster, so then what we would do is we put it ahead of the line, and this one is taking the bread out of the bag, so actually, this could go over here, and now this has putting the bread in the toaster. So in this case, this is the same step as this one over here. So this is what we call tiling when you have two of the same ideas uh, listed. What we do is we just take the post-it note and we put it underneath, and so that's the ideas are tiled. And finally, this is, has depressed the plunger. And again, that's the same one, same step as this one over here. So we're gonna tile that idea. So that's call that the second department. Let's bring in the third department now. So the third color, this one starts off with even before everything, it's putting the bread in a shopping cart. So let's go out and get the toast first. So in this case, we're gonna be putting that right about here. Now they have bring the bread to their house. So in that case, actually I've got to move this, bring it over here. And from there we have put the bread on the counter. So we're gonna put that over here. I'm running out of space. I'll just move things over a little bit. I'll put it right over here. And finally, it's putting the bread in the toaster. We have that one, which is this step over here. And last we've got to press the plunger, we've got it over here. And actually, I think this one, this step would be probably very similar to this one over here. This is the bread, the bread on the counter. It's probably pretty similar. And so the process goes depending on how many people you have or the departments. But here's the interesting thing. The first two people only had about four different steps. The first person had, look how many different steps they had from here to here. And so everybody, the neat thing about this exercise is that everybody's gonna have different ideas on what's required for that business process. So take, for example, a sales company and there are, battling all the different departments. The sales department is battling with the customer service department and they're battling with the warehouse and the accounts payable and the accounts receivable because they all have different views of how the ordering process works. 
doing an exercise like this is really an eye-opener to see kind of what people are thinking of when they think of that process in mind. So the neat thing about here is that, especially when we tile ideas, then we can say that these three departments, let's say it's the uh, sales department, warehouse, and uh, customer service. In this case, we know that they all agree that this step is integral. This step is uh, putting the bread in the toaster. So we all know that this, they can agree on that. They can also agree over here of they all have to put, press on the plunger on the toaster to get the process beginning. And so the ones where you don't have a lot of tiled ideas, that's when you have to look at those ideas and analyze and saying, is this necessary? Is it necessary to put on a plate? Is it necessary to wait five minutes for the toaster to come out or you know, for somebody to pluck the toaster out? So this is just a great way to, to visually see where everybody agrees on an idea and where people differ on the ideas or people have different concepts. If this is the sales department, for example, with all these different steps in terms of what they think is required to generate an order and to get it through their system, and the warehouse people see this and they're like, oh man, I didn't realize that there's so many extra steps that are involved. Let's see what we can do to eliminate a couple of steps or make it a little bit more efficient so it looks a little bit more streamlined. So this is a great way to engage your team Give this a go and let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and I'd like to hear how you manage different conflicts with regards to systems in your workplace. If you like this video, please feel free to share this with your friends, family, and coworkers. And of course, by now, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and tap on the bell so you could be notified of my weekly video uploads. Thanks so much for listening and I'll see you next time.